Well, good morning, Greg, and congr congratulations on the uh, on the big day. It's nice to meet you. Uh, my pleasure. Nice meeting you as well. And uh, it's a huge day. You know, it's like our Super Bowl day for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, diverse ballot this year. Before we talk about the winners, uh, let's talk about uh, all, all of the nominees this year. I mean, it was, it was uh, like I said, diverse. You had the New York Dolls to Dionne Warwick, Foo Fighters, LL Cool J, Tina Turner. Um, is there a common thread through all of these very diverse artists, Greg? You know, one, the, the common thread is impact and influence. Um, when you think about that, those nominees, it was an incredible group of 16. Any five or six would have been a great class, but they were all impactful and influential. And that's the key. Uh, in their day, the New York Dolls didn't sell that many tick, many records, but they everybody that bought them wanted to start bands. So I think that's part of it. And I'm so thrilled that the diversity carried over to the induction class. Uh, it is a time when we think about you know, uh, artists that are impacted by uh, great female artists that are by great diverse artists and that rock and roll isn't one thing. It's not just four skinny guys with long hair and guitars in the classic sure. sense. It's a, it's a big tent uh, and uh, we embrace all of it. Rock and roll is an attitude, isn't it? More than just a style of music. Is that fair? Yeah, that, I think that's dead on. And, uh, you know, that attitude is always pushing for change. Uh, it's frequently a voice for the voiceless and, uh, and rock and roll is a spirit. It's an attitude. Absolutely. It should, it should scare people's parents. Right. <laughs> yeah. It should scare people's parents. It should, it should yeah. motivate and inspire kids. Uh, and, uh, you know, we all know it and we know what drove us. And sometimes sure. it was a, it was an unbelievable, like howling scratchy old blues record, or maybe it was a garage rock band. Or maybe it was just some, um, you know, powerful, powerful um, beat and statement. And like, it, sure. it moves you. So yeah, maybe, I think that's a big part of it. Maybe it was the first time you heard uh, Welcome to the Jungle on the radio, right? For sure. Yeah, so, and you've... And, uh, so uh, yep, uh, I, I, I think that's very well said. Explain, explain to folks uh, how it works. I mean, obviously you're not the guy that picks, even though I'm sure you have that conversation with people all the time. Um, explain uh, the criteria for getting into the Rock Hall and the, uh, and the voting body in the process, if you wouldn't mind. Sure thing. So first and foremost, you had to have made a record 25 years ago to be eligible. And then it's, um, it's really impact and influence. And Tom Morello of Rage Against the Machine will say it's impact, influence, and awesomeness. Uh, so it's impact and influence. And then um, there's a group that makes a ballot, the ballot that you just talked about of 16 artists. Uh, that ballot gets sent out to all the other living inductees. So Smokey Robinson votes, the guys in Red Hot Chili Peppers vote, uh, Bruce Springsteen votes, as, long, as well as some writers, some historians. And when that comes back, we end up with these, uh, these six performers that are being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Then there's some special categories that committees look at. And this year, the committees put in some supporting artists, some sort of more sidemen like Billy Preston and the great Randy Rhodes. Yeah. That's the process that they are elected by. Gotcha. So who's in this year? All right. So uh, you'll, you'll give me the honors. Uh, in yeah. the performers category, it's Tina Turner going in as a solo artist. It's Carol King going in as a recording artist solo. The Go-Go's, Jay-Z, the Foo Fighters, Todd Rundgren, and then we move to our committees, and it's Kraftwerk, Charlie Patton, the man who taught Robert Johnson, and Gil Scott Heron for early influence. And then it's LL Cool J, Billy Preston, Randy Rhodes for musical excellence, and finally, uh, executive uh, Clarence Avant for the Ahmet Erdogan Award. And so, they're all uh, inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's fantastic. And you're going to have a physical ceremony this year at the end of October uh, in Cleveland? Yes, our intention is a live concert, October 30th in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, it's in the um, Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse where the Cleveland Cavaliers play. They're actively hosting audiences now for Cavs games. And um, we're not going to put tickets on sale until July because we want to better understand what our capacity can be sure. and how we can do this safely and carefully. But we're confident we can do it. And it's going to be October 30th right here in Cleveland, Ohio. Is, uh, is Dave Grohl the first guy to ever get in twice on the first ballot? I suppose Ozzy Osbourne might be in that category as well. 
Boy, boy you're going deep on that one. Um, <laughs> I think that um, as I think about it, boy, you know, think about it. The, the Beatles didn't go in their first year of eligibility. <laughs> wow. That's, I mean, Bob Dylan. There's, there's somebody. Yeah. Bob Dylan. So, uh, Bob Dylan's a guy. To, sure. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you might have something there. I, I think we need to look that one up because um, some of the folks like, uh, you know, you've got the Yardbirds with um, sure. with Jeff Beck and Jimmy Page going in as Yardbirds and going in for in other ways. Um, Graham Nash goes in with the Hollies much later and he's in with Crosby, Stills and Nash. Mm -hmm. uh, Neil Young goes in uh multiple times right uh we're, we're gonna have to look but i i think you Steve, might be stevie, onto something with stevie the first timers yeah uh, uh well stevie was a, a eligible as a solo artist for a number of years gotcha yeah yeah so uh, uh, good point now speaking of speaking of that second time stuff it's so great to see tina turner recognized yeah, uh, yeah. for her solo career absolutely um, you know, yeah, I was kind of I was kind of surprised that Tina wasn't in, and then I realized she was in uh, for uh, for Ike and Tina, but not as a as a solo artist. Yeah, and you know Ike and Tina, I think the recording window was about fifteen years, and as a solo artist, she's you know thirty plus years right. in as a solo artist, and it's very fitting that she's recognized this this year. So let's talk a little bit about the folks that didn't get in. Iron Maiden fans, of course, hot again, and uh, uh, metal fans uh, in general. I think D. Snyder took to uh, had an interview a, a few weeks ago, maybe it was a month ago, where he said uh, something like, "The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame does not respect metal." How do you respond to that? You know, it's um, it, it's it's an interesting one because we do we celebrate all forms of rock and roll. Uh, they were nominated, uh, and we've nominated Maiden. Uh, we've nominated um, uh, Judas Priest have been nominated. Uh, we put Def Leppard in, and it's all those that are nominated. Over eighty percent of them eventually do get inducted. So it's a it's really a question of um, of let's keep nominating them, let's get them on the ballot, and let's get it out to the voting body. So um, incredible bands, no doubt. Sure truly worthy of, of nomination, truly worthy of consideration. And this ballot had 16 artists on it. And any five would have been terrific. They just can't all go in. So sure. this year, these are the six. And we're excited to see what next year brings. But until then, uh, I don't want to overshadow this group. Uh, this group sure. earned it. We don't want you know to, to gloss over that Todd Rundgren is finally being honored by the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and going in. It's Absolutely. a massive statement. Uh, don't Absolutely. want to diminish Randy Rhodes being honored by the Rock and Roll Hall For of Fame. Sure. So, uh, um, the, uh, finally, I, I guess I got to ask if if you had uh, a unilateral choice, if you could pick one artist um, to go in, who would that be for you personally? Yeah, you know, I, when I was asked that question a few years ago, I, I used to say things like, you know, I can't believe Stevie Ray Vaughan is not in yet, and he's now in. And uh, as <laughs> yeah, a Tom Waits fan, else. I said, how about Tom Waits? <laughs> you know, and, and, uh, and then you would say it like, uh, you know, really um, some of these, uh, you know, Deep Purple wasn't in, like mm -hmm. they should yeah. be in. Today, um, I have to say that I, I there's, there's plenty of artists that we can add to consider when you start working the process, you realize that there's so many great artists out there. Um, I'm going to focus us on this group Let's celebrate the class that's in. I'm going to tactfully uh, dodge uh, giving you an artist <laughs> that I think could be in. And, and let, let's celebrate this crew yep. and not get too far ahead of ourselves. This is their day. This is their year. And we're so thrilled they're coming into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Right on, Greg. Well, thank you so much for the time today. And congratulations uh, once again. And, and hopefully that ceremony comes together at the end of October. It'll be nice to see uh, live performances and people in a venue enjoying rock music again. Yeah, we, we can't wait. Uh, if folks want to sort of monitor it, go to rockhall.com and uh, you'll have information about tickets and other stuff. And uh, we appreciate the chance to talk to your listeners and want to extend an invitation. Come on out to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We've got a terrific radio studio. If you want to go uh, do some okay. remotes from here, we'd love to have you. Oh, cool. Well, thank you so much. I might take you up on that and I'll finally get that answer off Beautiful. the record. <laughs> right Thanks. Thanks, Greg. Have all a great right. day. All right. Take care. You too. Thank you. Bye now.